I'm going to try it right here by the bridge. I almost hooked the car there. Last year I noticed a lot of action here under the bridge, but in a hurry to get out there, I would just miss this area here. So I'm going to work this area here because I see, I see fish feeding on the top and that's what I do last year but I just ig ignore it trying to be in a hurry to to get up there into the fishing area but there's got to be big fish in here so I'm going to try it here like for 15 minutes I'm using a storm paddle tail a lot of people would have luck with the Tsunami brand and it's almost it's about the same thing and for some reason a lot of people have been catching in years past with this uh, this color like a lime green with white so I'm gonna bury my retrieve I'll try it here for 15, 15 minutes or so. The one thing I don't want to do is get hung up on the bottom, so right now I'm working the lure kind of fast, but I'll slow it down in a minute. I just need to see, uh, yeah, I'll work it a little slower now. See that there was a blow up right here next to me about 15 feet. I'm actually using my bait rod. So I have a swivel on there. Usually I don't like fishing with swivels, but it's so much easier to change lures and I can put my my uh, bottom rig on bobber so I said let me just rig this one with a storm and and try it first thing in the morning right here Again, I'm in San Martin Lake today. I haven't, this year I haven't come, this is the first time I've been here, so, I mean in this, this year. Last year I'd come here exclusively because it's, it's, uh, it's protected from the wind. And you don't have to paddle too much to find fishable water here. The tide is going in. And I think I think it's gonna switch, which is good for me. I could uh, right now I could just drift out there, not even have to paddle because the current will take me out to the fishing spot. But there's a bunch of people with the cast net catching bait. 
but today it's just gonna be artificial for me artificials and right now I'm anchored or else I'd be drifting big time but yeah I'm gonna try it here for about 15 minutes I'll I'll get back with you when I move or if I catch something.
Okay, I'm gonna try it right here. This is, I drifted away from the bridge, and right here it seems like this is where the oyster beds start. So I'm gonna work my tsunami kind of on top because I don't want to get hung up. I learned my lesson last year that if you work it too slow, you'll get hung up on the oyster bed. So I'm gonna work this fast on top of the water. And see if I can pick up anything right here along this mangroves and oyster beds. And I'll just keep drifting down. Right now I'm anchored because this is a good spot, I believe. And I'll try this storm lure. It's I don't like the way it's uh, swimming. I'll probably switch off here in a minute to to my other. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? I'll work. I'm gonna work my. <laughs> World War Cast with this guy. World War Cast with this guy. And I'm gonna switch to my wheelless setup so I won't get caught up in the. Yeah, I don't like the way this guy. Well, I just. I ripped the damn lid out of it so. At least I, you know, you come with a game plan and, and you start off, you stick to it. So that was what I was going to do, fish the bridge with this guy, but he's disabled right now, so I'm going to switch over to, I'm thinking a weed this setup. Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, this is going to be the, the all floral carbon. I'm going to work a, a popping cork with a, Weedless. So I'm gonna let me see what I can tie on. Uh, my son-in-law gave me a couple of Kelly Wigglers that I really, really like. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try these dirt sheds, and then I'll go to a, either a ball tail or a. I still like because these guys up here at the bridge were catching tons and tons of mullet. So I'm going to try this guy right here, look. It's the Berkeley... Berkeley, uh... Dirt Shad. And I'm going to rig it weedless. I don't know if you can see this. But yeah, it has a screw. Screw it in right here. It's not as easy as it sounds. Last time I used these uh, these screw lock things, so I just poked this eye out. So, and then I'm gonna. It has the thing I like about this these hooks. I mean these uh these lures. They have the slot already. So look. Then I just pinched the uh, right there weedless with a little weight. So I'm gonna work this. That way I could... The only thing is I got... I got a pound. And if I hook on to something big, I'm gonna have to... Have to play it, so... I'm gonna work this slowly, jerking it. Hopefully I don't get caught up. I mean, I have not, I just started using this jerk shad uh, a couple weeks ago. So I have technically not caught a fish on them, but, you know, you just, uh, I think I'm, oh my god, yeah. Freaking second cast. I'm caught up. 
even though it was weightless and everything. So now, <laughs> oh my god, that's what happens at San Martin Lake. So I'll go to option number three. Now I gotta be careful with these rod holders because last last year I lost the last year I lost the a fishing reel here. See this one I have the Seth jig by itself and I'm gonna start using a freaking paddle tail. I gotta I gotta try out the lure my son in law let me lend me. I think I have it. I organized everything because I had tons and tons of tons and tons of packages. So I just put all my paddle tails in one and and all the jerk shads, imitation shads in another one. So right here, look. I'm gonna put this Kelly K Kelly Wiggler on. Just that I'm gonna have to be very, very careful not to get. E and I, I should go weedless on this thing, but I'm not. I'm not gonna go weedless. I'm not gonna go. Okay, I have one of the Seth jigs. Seth jigs. Last time I was calling him Seth. Seth jig. Seth. Man, these plastics are pretty hard. You know what? I'm bringing it backwards. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I still have some of the stupid line. <laughs> Where are you? Okay. I think I'm going to go into a little deeper water because I feel I feel like <laughs> look at that dang <laughs> oh my god that's what happens when you're in San Martin that's exactly what happens when you're in San Martin I'm going to pull up anchor and go God almighty. Jesus Christ. I'm going to pull up anchor and go try to... God almighty. <laughs> That's what happens when you're in San Martin. That's what happens. Hopefully I can save the the jig head because I don't wanna that's already Ah, oh, that's already I see if I try to go get that bobber, I might start getting gashed. On the bottom. Ah, oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm not gonna go get my. You know what? I'm gonna try to go get my bobber because. Because I like that setup, and the hook was not. I just don't want to start getting scraped on the bottom.
the thing is, it looks so freaking. I don't want to lean over too far. There you go, I saved it. But it looks so freaking tempting here. Look at that. So freaking tempting. They tempt you, these mangroves. I mean, but you just gotta be careful with the damn oysters. Oyster beds are all over here, but I just gotta work it. Okay, I, I like the way this guy. Let me position my. See, that's what I don't like about this. And it's not the kayak's fault. I gotta somehow get a drift sock or something to drag me. Because it drifts me sideways. But here. Oh man, I should just anchor here so it looks so good. So I gotta work the lure fast. Yeah, I'm gonna freaking anchor here. I mean. I'm gonna dictate, I'm gonna dictate what I do, not, not, well, <laughs> I better shut up, I'm gonna say not San Martin, ah, oh shit, I'm already stuck over here, oh my god, <laughs> see, when I said not San Martin, and San Martin said, oh my dear, <laughs> Oh my beer. Oh my now I mean come on, there's gotta be tons of fish in here. Tons of fish in here. I mean the wind's coming in, the current's coming in, mangroves. Look at that. I just saw a damn fish smack some finger mullet right in front of me. So I gotta work it fast on top. Cause I don't wanna get hung up. Again. The moment you try to slow it down. The moment you try to slow it down. That's when you get caught up. Yeah, they're all feeding along this this area right here. I just gotta be nice and quiet. This looks like an awesome location right here. You know what? I have a wake bait that works right on the surface. I might just tie on the wig bait to my bait rod that has the swivel on. But see, I don't like the swivels. I don't like the swivels. And on that one, I have a good, a, not giant one, but since it's my bottom rig, I do have a, a bigger swivel. But see, and then I start thinking that, but back in the old days, when my dad would take us fishing when we were little, everything was swivel. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Everything had a swivel when we caught tons of fish. But then again, it was mainly bobbers and... Man, this looks so promising here. So promising. Okay, again, I'm, look, I'm using this Kelly lure for the first time. I just love the way it looks. I have it in a plum with the chartreuse. I also have it in a 
multicolor it says the package but I've seen a lot of people well I wouldn't see a lot of people but have a ton of, ton of success with this color over there at Portman Steel I'm just gonna fan cast right here That one, oh my god. I'll say that was a perfect cast right by the mangroves and I... I got caught a little but I got it out. <laughs> See something, I think there's snook. Cause this looks like snook. But they're top, they're probably snacking on. See, that's why I was thinking those uh, Berkeley jerk shads, because they look like mullet. Man, there's a lot of action here, guys. A lot of action. I try, I, the moment I try to slow it down and work it like a true lure, that's when you start getting messed up. You get a, I know this one you gotta like let it drop, but the moment you let it drop, you get hung up. I don't even know if I'm recording anymore. Well, anyway, I'm anchored here. There's a lot of action on the water. The only thing I tell you, I don't want to get the hooks on the bottom. So I have to work it kind of fast. I might just... Jesus Christ. Once I see, once I slow it down, I start getting caught up on the bottom. I mean, 
it looks like a great place, spot, man. It looks like a great spot. Unless I need to throw shrimp in imitation. Oh, it felt like I got a hit there. I felt like I got a true hit there. See, the moment I slow it down, I can feel... I mean, there's lots of action in the water. Lots of action. I almost want to try my weight beat just to see what happens. Maybe I'll get a big explosion. What do you think? Wake beat. Wake beat. Wake beat. Wake beat. I'm gonna try my wake beat anyway. This thing, I don't have to switch it out. I can come back to it. Are you still recording? Yeah. I'm gonna switch to my wake beat. Another lure that I haven't caught anything with. <laughs> I have it all here. I'm gonna try the wake bait so it could stay on top of the water. The only thing I don't like is the treble hooks. And I thought about changing. Am I recording? Yeah. Okay, this is what I'm going to go with the weight beat right here. Again. I don't like working it with a jig head, but... I mean, a jig head. I don't like working it with a... Swivel. But... I'm going to use my bait rod. And that's the only rod I have a swivel on. But, let's see if I can get a blow up. There you go. Six cents, weight beat. It, it works at the top of the water, making a weight, hence the word weight beat. And it goes left, right, left, right.
I mean and this thing you can work it slow it's right on top of the water look at that beautiful action beautiful action And this one is a salt water edition, so it has the stronger hooks and and, uh, and O rings. It's basically a top water with a lip, so it just wobbles on top of the water. So I'm gonna work this on this area and if I don't have any luck I'm gonna let it move. Go look for some tailing reds or something. Oh, it's such a nice morning. A little humid and you know that sun's gonna come out big time today. there's so much bait here so much bait those guys at the bridge were catching tons of big mullet so these fish I mean they got plenty of bait to eat I think I'm going to pull up, after this cast, I'm going to pull up anchor and just drift with the current and the wind. <sighs> Look at that right. I'll beat that out of him. Right in freaking fun and fun and A freaking blow up. Okay, the only problem with this wig beat is that sometimes you get caught up, and everybody says that that uses it. Sometimes you get a cast and you get caught up with the hooks. So basically, it's a wasted cast because you're, you're a helicopter in it. stuff working the water here I don't know what I need to go find a massive trout that's just gonna swallow my damn lure And then this wig bait has a, a ball inside of it that just rattles, 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 rattles. So when it's wobbling, it's rattling at the same time.
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go because I don't want to waste my battery. I do have the backup battery. But I know you want to see action. You don't want to hear me babbling about. Okay, I moved kind of towards the deep into the little channel. I put some fish bites on my bait rod. And I have that uh, Kelly Wiggler paddle tail and the uh, plum and chartreuse on the other one. I was getting, I turned you on because I was getting a bite on the on the fish bites. I just need to take that skunker off the boat. Get catch something, anything. Just that first one. The winds are starting to pick up, so not that bad. Okay, my fish bites got something. Doesn't feel like a catfish though. Maybe because I'm tangled up here. But it is a catfish. Man, if I had a dollar for every catfish I caught, I'd be rich. Okay, last time a catfish got me, because I was being careless, I probably had a couple beers in me. <laughs> well, you have a couple beers in you. And these, these small ones are the ones that that get you. Cause they're too small to handle. You gotta get in, in between these, right? Ah! Uh, you gotta get. Ah! Uh, he's gonna get me. And I have this. He said, "Come on, sucker!" Okay. I got you now. I got him now. Okay. So little catfish, you try to grab them, see these are the bars that really stick you, this one and this one right here. So you grab them, the bigger ones are easier to grab. Now, sometimes when I let this guy go, I throw him, he'll get me with the, the fins, the small ones. So, see he's already, he knows, he goes, he's gonna let me go, I'm gonna snap him, oh yeah, I did it, chase me. Hey, so does that mean you're not skunked or it's got to be a game fish let me know in my comments let me know in my comments if catching a catfish or actually catching anything even though it's not a keeper if that takes the skunk off the boat let me know in the comments does it have to be a good fish or can it be a... Okay folks, I just saw a big ass red over here by this white pole over here. So I'm going to go back around. Definitely a keeper. A huge one. Now, I was drifting so I just got one cat in it, but I... I thought it took a little hit, but you know I saw but I saw birds keep flying this way. Like not feeding but searching. So I said, let me go over there and but halfway through there I saw some right along this, this little channel there's some uh, oyster oyster bread and there's a white pole. I saw this big red right on top of 
hating actually. But the wind is kind of strong, so I just got one good cast at it. So let me go up, up wind for a minute, and come back and see. If it's still there, well, I'm the same time. I can just anchor about 50 yards. So we're here by this first light pole, right where the moisture bed begins. So let me paddle past it. See if I can see it again. But that's finally a good sign. A nice big red fish. A nice big red fish. So it was along this uh this area so I think I'm just gonna anchor anchor about 50 yards and 30 yards upwind from it along this and I see the birds like they keep coming by here like if something's gonna happen like something's about to happen There's too many birds just coming. They're like surveying. Well, folks, there's another one. Puro catfish in San Martin Lake.